Tanya, we've unmuted your microphone. Are you there with us? Yes, hello. Tanya, nice to chat with you again. How are you? Good. Can you remind everyone where you're calling in from? Um, I'm calling in from Rotorua, New Zealand. Welcome. Is there anything that you liked in the presentation? Um, yeah, just basically, it was just giving a clearer understanding of um, lead generation. Precisely. So that was really great. What question okay, do you have? Okay, so for? what I'm actually looking for, or what I'd like to, is that in, in terms of, of the memberships, I've got that down pat. What it is, is once we've got the members, what about services we offer within the website being able to um, sell them onto the members without them having to join up and re-become members to get those services, i.e. say a banner ads. We run banner ads on our site as well and we have customers pay. Perfect. So um, it would require, well, you could do two things. Um, what you can do very easily is add a new content page. Yep. And I'll just make it very simple for everyone. Title will be buy more services. Oops. Yep. Oops, I can't spell services. All right, there we go. Buy more services, and I'll make the URL services. And what I'll do is this. Uh, you can design the page however you want to advertise your services. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll go to membership levels. Okay. Let me open it in a new tab. And I'm going to create a new membership level. And I'm going to call it 30-day um, banner ad. And you can choose lots of settings. Uh, the price will be a one time of $300 for a banner ad. And then let me uh, change the privilege to listing searchable on website. No, because these are just people buying services from you. So listing is not searchable on website. I wouldn't even give them any features because you're just interested in the sale. Uh, I would go ahead and save the changes now. Yep. And now we have 30-day banner advertisement. It's um, $300. Go ahead and copy the link to the sign-up page. I'll, I'll just copy this here. And if we go back to our content page, again, you can design it however you like, but basically you can put the link there. You can make it a nice button, um, you know, a green button. Um, and paste it. Okay. So let me save the web page, and we can view the page. Oops, the site is set up as members only. Sorry, let me update that again. Members only, no. If you recall, we did that a few minutes ago earlier in the presentation. Let me go back to my web pages, and let's view the new page, Buy More Services. Give it a moment. There we go. So we have a page, buy more services. It's nothing fancy right now. This could be a nice button like the rest of them. You can put text, uh, but basically you can buy these services. You'll see who purchased the services in the admin here mm -hmm. based on their name and their email from the sign up page. And then you can contact them to get the imagery they want for their banner ad, where they want it to link to. Make sure you approve the imagery for the banner ad. I'm assuming you. You don't want mature content uh, and you know, inappropriate content as banner ads. That's why I always recommend the website owners moderate the banner ads first before they go on the site automatically. Um, so this is how you can create a landing page for your yep. other services. Okay. Um, so having done all that, our problem is that you have to buy into a membership. So what what we've we ended up finding is we are getting a double up on memberships. A double? Oh, you're getting people with multiple, like this guy yeah, would yeah, be listed. To, to purchase the banner ad, they had to purchase a membership, gotcha. rather than just the service as such. So, um, gotcha. that, that was where our issue developed. Gotcha. 
Well, it's a small issue to overcome. There would be, let's say, two records of Bill Paxton if he bought it, but one of them is not going to have a searchable listing or any useful information. Um, it's basically the order is going to be here. Um, and you'll be able then to search all the people who purchase 30-day banner ads this way um, as well. So um, I do see what you're saying. It creates somewhat redundant information uh, on your site. Um, right. But as also, um, that's the way. That's I, I can't say anything else besides that's the way it works right now. Um, that you could achieve that. Um, okay, and no, I just wanted to check. Sure. And see how that went. Okay um, then. Well, let me show you one more thing that I recommend doing. Um, if we log in as Bill, let me also remind you that you can edit the dashboard here. It would be yep. some coding required, but you could edit the dashboard and make one of these blocks the additional services you offer and then link them to the buy pages for those additional services. So it can, okay. you can advertise them right in their admin dashboard in one of these boxes. You just have to make one of these boxes. Not a problem. Okay. All right, great question. Um, yeah, we'll be working on you know that kind of stuff, more, more control with membership levels, uh, but you can get people to pay you money still, which is the most important thing when you're starting out.